Braid the range until it breaks. Ranges are one of the most easiest ways to trade Bitcoin. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you through the range that we're currently trading within. Why I remain bullish in this range and I am expecting new yearly highs to come. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video and look forward to the upcoming trades that we have within this range still. And of course, when we break that range, we'll be discussing the next bigger targets that we have. So I want to cast your mind back a few days where, of course, we were just at the very start of this range. And I made a YouTube video update for you all. And of course, I posted a few things over on Twitter at the same time. And, you know, making it, trying to make it really as easy as possible, your trading life. And one thing that helps me make my trading life easier is trading these mini types of ranges. So even in strong trends, for example, the moment we're in a strong uptrend, you will have these periods of lower term time frame consolidation. And that is where you get the best new trade opportunities. Find the range early, wait for the reaction at either side of that range, and then make the profit. So if you have this as your early, not many people are recognizing this as a range already, but you have that range low and you have that range high. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for a fake out or take of the range high for a short or a fake out and take of the range low for a long. Then it just requires patience once you have found that range very early on. So what did we have going on? After that, required a bit of patience, but we did get a break of the range high and ending in a swing failure pattern. So that is where you come up above that range, close back down below. This is from a 15 minute chart perspective. And that's what I had been looking at during the period of that day. Okay, so for me, after we had actually had a swing failure pattern, you know, we had to remain patient for that range high to be taken. Well, patience paid off and we wait for the reaction. The reaction ended in a swing failure pattern of the range high, which as I say to my champion members, that is an acceptable short trade. Why? Because we trade the range until it breaks, okay? And after that swing failure pattern, price come down, made its way sideways for a little bit, right? Just continue to wait then for range low. And it kind of looked like this, swing failure pattern of range high. Of course, our plan was to short the range high. This was my daily morning trading update that I gave to the champion members in a live stream on the 15th. We had to wait for that range high to be taken. Of course, that ended in a swing failure pattern and in the end made its way down, not quite taking range low, come back up for a third touch setup before eventually, yes, making its way all the way down to that range low where we ended in a bit of a failed auction. So just as we had the acceptable short trades off of the range high, swing failure pattern, guess what happens at range low? We have the absolutely acceptable long trade off of the range low fake out, once again, trading this range till it breaks, right? And this is what it looked like upon the reclaim. And as mentioning on Twitter to you all at the same time, this is what you're looking for, the fake out of the range low, absolutely updating my champion members and giving it away on Twitter too, uh, that this is a long trade I have taken. And I'm very happy to be honest <clears throat> with the entry. Why? Because I love to trade these ranges until they break. Okay. The life, the trading life of a champion, loving the mini ranges right now. Okay. So you make your plan. You then wait for the reaction, take the entry trigger, and whether it's the shorts, whether it's the longs, you continue to trade this range until it breaks. Okay, so I hope I've made that very clear and obvious. That is what we're doing right now. But as mentioned, I am actually leaning much more bullish within this range. Okay, so I am not in a short anymore from this range. You know, a lot of the time I would say, uh, you know, if I got a really nice short entry at the range high and a nice long entry at the range low, I would then stay in both those trades and have my stop losses at the invalidation. But I'm already out of all my shorts. Why? Because even though we're still within the range, I'm expecting a new yearly high. Of course, our current yearly high is this right here in I'll mark it as a key level so we'll right click on our templates and we'll mark it as a key so for now I'm going to hide this parallel channel and now it looks very obvious right we got this really clear new yearly high my perspective and bias is that we will be bullish and we will be taking out this high where of course I continue can look for a new swing thigh pattern of that high and if we don't we all know we're looking for that breakout towards the previous range value area high location so for me, that is how I formulate my trading plans. 
okay and then how i have to wait for the reaction and again at the range high we wait for the reaction for the short we got that with the swing failure pattern the exact same for the range low right we have our plan set in place for the reaction at the range low we get the reaction we take the long trades at the low and we take the short trades at the high all that requires really simply is to have your plan trade the reaction for the short and at the highs have your plan trade the reaction at the lows right so whether you're longing at the bottom or whether you're shorting at the high you are simply trading that range until it breaks of course my perspective is bullish that is why i have closed those short trades and i am once again looking for new yearly highs above this high i want to actually educate you on one extra thing here and that is when we are trading the range till it breaks i hopefully i've emphasized that enough right now okay we of course can add in order flow so i want to show you this lovely lovely example of when i was telling my team that this is of course a very nice acceptable long trade to be taking after the reaction that we had at the range low i want to show you what that looked like in terms of the order flow because this is what i class as perfect order flow so we get the visual reaction okay as clear failed auction fake out of the lows but we also had in order flow another really, really amazing sign to tell us to take that long. And that is this. Look at this order flow. So this is our range low. This is when we were faking out of the range low. OK. We had this on the order flow, which is millions of shorts opening positive. OK. Or high delta, let's say, because of course it's negative because it's shorts, but high negative delta. OK and an increase in open interest. So here we're looking at the delta and the open interest. We can actually see, look at these shorts opening down here, point of control candle towards, point of control of the candle towards the low, 4.9 million shorts. And look at these several million shorts. We have a lot of shorts opening at the very low of the candle. Of course, once we get this reclaim, that then leaves all of those new shorts trapped at the low. And that is what I would call perfect in terms of the visual reaction of the fake out. Of course, at the same time, back testing that important weekly. Remember, this was an important weekly, what we were looking at in terms of resistance. We got through it very simply, very simply. <laughs> but we did get the back tests to convert it into support, which is just a very lovely confirmation. When we see everything come together, the fake out of the range low, entry trigger of a long back test of the weekly entry trigger of the long trapped shorts at the low with the order flow coming together perfectly another entry trigger for the long and that is why you can have such big confidence really in taking these types of trades and then you see here look at the bullish divergences just building and that is another reason why i'm not taking a short here prior to the high why i've closed the shorts that i had you know all in profits just looking now for these highs and again i want to end by saying this very important how do I have such confidence in my trades, in my plans to say publicly, you know, not many people will put themselves out here and publicly say what they're expecting because, you know, they always want to try and hedge themselves, you know, might do this, might do that. No, I, I come out here and I say very clearly, I am expecting higher. I am in no short trades and I have such confidence to publicly say this in front of thousands of people because I have my statistics OK, and I have my plan set in place. Of course, I can be wrong. And if I'm wrong, you always know I will come out here and say, hey, I was wrong on that trade decision. Sorry, as I was saying before, I got cut there. If we actually drop now before taking the high, then yes, of course, I am wrong. I am going to lose myself, my own profits off of that decision because i am fully focused on higher prices i'm in my longs i'm not taking any short trades here i do not hold any of my short trades here so i'm very transparent and honest with you all because i truly feel that's the best way to you know educate people i need to be transparent i need to be honest and i need to tell you exactly what i'm thinking and the reasons behind it and in this video i've explained uh to you i am of course bullish long looking for higher not in any short trades i'm looking for a new yearly high if we take that pivot high and end in another swing failure pattern or failed auction then of course i can take a new short trade based off of that reaction and i will continue to trade that range getting ever so slightly bigger either side of the range highs and lows right but i'll continue to trade that core range until it breaks if we break to the upside then yes that's where i'm looking towards my previous range value area highs okay i will end by saying of course to the downside we are going to be looking for just below okay 40 
uh, $50,000 if we break this to the downside. Of course, we can be putting our CC Fibonacci that's lining up in and around 49,800. And just below that, we have some really nice daily naked pointer controls. So if we do break the range to the downside, that's where I'd be looking at first of all. Down then, if we lose this towards $47,000. But for now, I am not focused on those lower levels because my next target is above us on a new yearly high. Then I will see if we get another type of failed auction once again above that high. If we do not, then I will look for the value area high. Okay, so I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. I hope it's made sense and I will say this, if you wanna see more of myself and the other Chart Champions coaches, you know where to get us, chartchampions.com. Truly, this is where we give our best content, our best education, and our best, you know, just the top level service that we can absolutely offer, okay? We've got in here, of course, the courses to get you from a beginner to a master trader, understanding every single theory that we teach and use in our trades. That includes, of course, all the order flow in terms of setting up your, um, you know, your platforms such as Atas, Exo, and there, and there we also have a built-in journal for you all, all of the templates and cheat sheets, competition where we actually can walk away with prize money every month. So far, we're giving away $1,500 this month to the top five in the competition, which is free to enter for champion members. So yeah, this is the platform, chartchampions.com, if you want to learn and trade with us. That's where you get access to these trading updates too, uh, where we talk about the trades that we're taking and you know when we've got acceptable short trades. And then once again, once we've got acceptable long trades, the first place to be updated is going to be inside of the Discord for the champion members. The contenders, that's where you focus on your education and you watch the courses to get yourself up to speed. So I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. If you want to see more, you know where to get it. You know my bias, you know my trace, you know what I am looking for next. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And I will catch you over inside of the Discord or the website next. Cheers. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.